see uh, the, the changes that Sonegal are, are making uh, to be very good. There's a lot of good collaboration uh, with uh, Sonegal and, and Chevron and the other industry players to, do, to work on uh, you know, continuing to uh, improve the uh, investment climate in Angola. I think we have already achieved some success. For example, uh, last year EBITDA was uh, $3.2 billion, so it was up 15% compared to uh, 2015. We've also managed to achieve massive savings through Sonalite. We were able to save $680 million. So that was, uh, that was for us, was, was, was tremendous. Uh, and perhaps the most significant uh, for me personally was really to be able to uh, restructure the debt. When we arrived in Sonangal, Sonangal was a had a very difficult financial situation. We were debt ridden and restructuring the debt was key and we were able to uh, reduce the debt from $13 billion to $10 billion. Tonango is doing exactly what we've done in our own company. You know, when the price of oil dropped, we are all facing difficulties, so I think his priority was given to transformation, to balance it, which is positive. And now, once you have established the strong foundation, you can think to the future and develop again. This is not a particularity to Angola. The reduction in capex and investment in oil fields has been across the board globally. When we look at the eight major oil companies, they have all reduced 30% in their capex expenditure. So, of course, Angola is not a stranger to these numbers and the same thing that happened anywhere else in the world that happened in Angola. The good news is that Angola is the top five destination of investment for the oil major companies. And we see now that the oil major companies are again going back to the table. We have been in Angola for 26 years now, so it's a long track record, a long history. It has been very important for, for our company, a uh, very close relationship with, with Angola all the way. And, and we are here for the, for the long term, so we're here to stay, look for more opportunities in Angola and uh, stay in a close cooperation with, with, with Sonagol. It was very exciting when, when we were appointed as, a, as a new board members because in fact we felt a sense of mission. We felt that there was something that we could give back to that company. We are engaged with the government and in government's missions to overcome the difficulties of the Angolan economy currently. The country has gone through elections, a new momentum. I think Sun Angol is like the time, you know, the years 2015, 16 were not easy. You now we are back on track. We have a strong, huge project to discuss it, but we also discuss the next phase project, you know. I think the, the recent recent meeting that industry had with the president as well as Sonegal and the ministries, I think is very productive. Whenever we can get together and have a constructive dialogue about how to continue to um, improve and enhance the oil and gas industry, I think is a good thing for for all stakeholders, so we we welcome the opportunity to continue that dialogue. So it was a very uh, fruitful and uh, positive meeting. We agreed together that it's the right time to get another momentum to the new phase, new wave of projects in Angola. We are designing the transformation for for our company, and, and transformations are are long and complex. Um, I think that the transformation is just not about me; it's also about um, the whole of my team, so the, our, our board members. But most of all, is about Sonangal's employees and Sonangal's people believing in the, in the transformation and then executing it in, on a daily basis. I like to say we're a little bit of a rare animal because we're an NOC, but we're trying to bring a little bit more of the IOC approach of being a lot more rigorous, uh, more profit-driven, uh, looking at efficiencies. What we would like to do is to create an environment where it's still possible to think about long-term projects and much, much bigger scale projects where size and the size of the opportunity starts to matter again. As Isabel pointed out, we, we really need now uh, to go to um, low cost and quite fast return uh, you know, capital investment. So we, we need to, to find the opportunities. We've seen that um, a great deal has been done in uh, cost reduction. I mean, we're very impressed. I think we worked uh, very closely to all the IOCs that work with us. All our partners uh, have uh, done a tremendous effort in reducing the cost. We continue to work together to determine other ways to op optimize our business, become more efficient. So I think there's more that we can continue to do, to, to do together to uh, become more, more efficient as we go forward. Collaboration, working together, that's the best approach to, to, to improving both as a company and uh, as an industry. We um, definitely see that uh, there will be a, a trend to, for the market to continue to grow and we expect um, uh, peak demand in about 2030. So uh, 
In that sense, we're seeing growth uh, coming from uh, emerging markets. We also find that Africa's um, internal growth of consumption is also growing. Uh, so we really see opportunity to, for um, exploration. Chevron has, has been operating in Angola for over 60 years, and we, we really value our relationship with Senegal and the Republic of Angola. It's a, something that we value very much. We've been an investor in the country for many years. We're still one of the largest producers in the country. We continue to uh, develop capability in the country. About 90% of our employees are Angolan, so we, we put a lot, of, um, a lot of emphasis on developing capability in the country. And we look forward to uh, continuing our strong relationship with with Senegal and the Republic of Angola for many years to come. We have been receiving a number of uh, exploration projects from our partners and uh, we are we're very encouraged by this um, uh, new interest and new wave of, of, of investment coming forward. We think it's a great time for exploration. Transforming and changing a company can never be done by a single person, so Isabel cannot change a company. Even our board, even though we're quite a few members of the board, we're 11, we cannot change the company. This really has to be done throughout the whole company, all the employees have to participate in this process of culture change. So I think it's a, it's a good moment to really start thinking about investment. For us it's also an issue of consumer trends. It's really looking at how will uh, consumers be um, using oil in the future. We agree. You agree? <laughs> yeah, that's good. <laughs>